All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing this, this, and this question. Pause the video right now and try these out before I explain. Enjoy. Okay, so let's start off with this one. 90 divided by three times seven plus three. Now, how do we solve this question? We have to remember PEMDAS, which is P-E-M-D-A-S. So PEMDAS, what does each of these stand for? P stands parentheses, E stands for exponents, M is for multiplication, D is for division, A is for addition, and S is for subtraction. We're going to go in this order from left to right, but then M and D as well as A and S come left to right as you see it. So you'll see that in a second how that works. So we have 90 divided by 3 times 7 plus 3. What do we see first? I see the parentheses first. So we have to do 7 plus 3 first, and that's just equal to 10. So I'm going to rewrite this as 90 divided by 3 parentheses 10. And then I'm going to rewrite this again because this becomes 90 divided by 3 and then because I have the parentheses, this is the same as just times 10. And now what do I see? I see division and multiplication. As I said before, multiplication and division come left to right. How do you see? It? So in this case, I see division first. So that's what we have to do first. So we have 90 divided by 3, which is just equal to 30. And 30 times 10, which is just equal to 3, followed by two zeros. So means the answer to this question has to be 300. Did you get it right? Let's try out the second one. So then we have 7 divided by 7, divided by 7, divided by 7. So how do we solve this question? First, we have to go in order dividing all these 7s first on the bottom. So 7 divided by 7, pretty easy. So this just becomes 7 divided by 7 divided by 7, which is 1, divided by 7, divided by 7. And then we go in order again. So we do 1 divided by 7, which I'm going to rewrite as 7 over 1 over 7, divided by 7. Because 1 divided by 7 is just 1 over 7. Now, what do I do from here? 1 over 7 divided by 7, this is a little bit more complicated because now I'm dividing a fraction and a whole number. So I'm going to convert the 7 to a 7 over 1. Now, 1 over 7 divided by 7 over 1, when we're dividing fractions, we have to remember KCF, which stands for keep, change, and then flip. That's the order. So we keep 1 over 7, divide becomes, because that's change, turns into multiplication, and lastly, flip, 7 over 1 becomes 1 over 7. 1 times 1 gives me 1. 7 times 7 gives you 49, and that right there is my answer on the bottom. So this just becomes 7 over 1 over 49. <clears throat> Same idea, dividing a whole number by a fraction. I'm going to convert this <clears throat> into 7 over 1, divided by 1 over 49. Same idea again, we have to keep change flip. So keep 7 over 1, change from division to multiplication, and flip 1 over 49 to become 49 over 1. And then I multiply. 7 times 49 is equal to what? That's equal to 243. On the bottom, 1 times 1 gives me 1. 243 over 1 gives us a final answer of 243. Let me know if you got this one right. And lastly, we go on to our last question, which is 4 to the x plus 2 is equal to 8. Now, how do we solve this? Whenever you see exponents, the idea is that we have to convert it to a common base. So 4, I know, is equal to 2 to the second power. And 8 is 2 to the what power? That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is just equal to 2 to the third power. And once you figure out that we're working with base 2, this question becomes a lot easier. Because what's 4 to the x plus 2 actually equal to? That's just equal to 2 to the second, because that's 4, to the x plus 2 power. And on this side, as we just established, 8 is equal to 2 to the third power. And as you can see, we're almost done. Because then we have to remember this rule in exponents, x to the a to the b power, is always equal to x to the a times b. So in this case, this is just to go to 2 to the 2 times x plus 2. We're going to be multiplying these 2 with each other. And this is equal to 2 to the third power still. And then what do we do? We can kind of distribute the 2 into that. That gives us 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 gives us plus 4. That's equal to 2 to the third. And now you can finally see our last steps. Because once you have this and this, you get 2x plus 4. Is equal to 3. We're just setting this exponent equal to this exponent. And then we just solve this pretty simple equation. So we have 2x plus 4 is equal to 3 minus 4 on both sides, just so I can get numbers and x's on one side. I get 2x is equal to 3 minus 4, which is equal to negative 1. Then I can divide both sides by negative, or divide by 2. Crosses out x is equal to negative 1 over 2. And that right there is my answer. So these are our top three questions from China. Let me know if you got them all correct. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what other questions I should do next. Peace out.